Sun's best and fairest lay. Gets it forward to Howarth. She's tackled strongly by Heath. That's certainly her role in the team. Strong tackle applied there on Hannah Dunn, the skipper by Hanks. And pass required to find Drennan. It could Hanks. Hemmed in on the boundary line. Outstanding vision. The skills to match for Hall. FLW career so far. Sneaks it in past the right post and the D strike back. Now, if we've got an encroachment 50, I think we do. Makes it 20. And just like that, we're tied at 12. Ball over the top, wanted Keeney, but it was Lauren Pierce who just wanted it a little bit more. And excellent skills to find Shelley Scott, Melbourne's best and fairest winner last year. Again, she's looking for options. Little tick lead provided here from her first touch. Harry Scott will decide to send it deep. Zanka trying to force her way to the front. Pajelli lost touch, and that's the best of Eden Zanka. Again, showed glimpses last year to finish seventh in the best and fairest slots. Her tenth AFLW goal, first of the day. Margin back to a point. Top there as well. Parry back to McNamara. Composure required. Paxman sends it into orbit. Cunningham and Zanka are both there. Petrevsky at the drop. The family trakes on show. Sheriff with the mark. Melbourne with their first lead of the afternoon. Really good game of footy as the opening two games of the season have been. Emmonson, Melbourne's best ball user from the back half, arguably finds Heath and there's another encroachment free kick. 20 year old playing her seventh game today. Gets on the scoreboard, Melbourne have got five straight. Hanks works her way free. Paxman is everywhere at the moment. Snapping forward, looking for Hall. Cunningham can dish the handball if she wants. Better still, she'll dosey do her way around. Pragelli, who gave her the ankle tap. Will this be four in a row to start the second here for the D's and Cunningham duly delivers line at the moment which wasn't the case through the opening 15 minutes or so Shelley Scott last year's best and fairest winner to power the D's in this term Lauren Pierce well she's returning to her 2019 self here looks fully fit All Australian rock great to see her back on the medal in the VFL women's competition that year as well Cunningham from three deep couldn't gather Hort the fall caught one in the face on the way through free kick against Hannah Dunn Tegan Cunningham already with a couple this afternoon. Kate Hall with the D's first of the day and their latest as well. Works through the Bella tackle. Parry back to Mithin. Tries to slice that ball on the right boot through the fingertips of Zanka who can recover. Drennan. Zanka for company. Desperate play from the big D. Heslop. She was stripped of it by Petrevsky. Yes. Forward pressure awarded. Crystal Petrevsky will get a look at her second and it's going to be oh, 50. an absolute soda. A third 50 metre penalty. Petrevsky's got it. Good reward for a pressure inside forward 50. Bradfield tries to emerge. She's tackled strongly by Lauren Pierce. Goes into the corridor. McNamara, she's in an acre of space here. On debut, can steady up on the right. Pull the trigger from the 50. Getting to it was Parry. Nipple forward. Only as far as Hoare, she looks inboard for Petrevsky. Shares it off, McNamara with a second chance, tries to turn provider. Colvin, it's through hands, who's in the back? Mithin, can she get another one? Got boot to ball and gets her third of her career. First of the afternoon, D's answer back. Dangerous one, Hanks had three to beat, had her feet taken out from under her. Perry, off to Darcy. Strong tackle work. We can gather and close this one out for the D's who conceded the first two goals. They kicked nine of the last 12 and are on the scoreboard in 2021 with a 21-point win.